we are checking for the flush flush condition when we have the so same condition or same example you can take over here so there will be a class a surface of another part we're going to be have so we here so same way there will be a class a surface from the another part just so there will be a class a surface from the another part we have and now we need to develop this interface okay uh, there is a typical condition this part will be assembling first we already know okay a part is assembling first that we already know as this is a bigger part and this is a smaller part kind of the cover we're going to be end up somewhere here okay and this red part going to be continue in this way okay from open side so this is a locally we have cover kind of thing so in that case we know a part is going to be assembled first this part is going to be assembled later on okay so in that case how this interface will be okay how this interface will be that we're going to be check as we are know the a part is going to be assembled first we are checking the inter interface in this condition okay so firstly we can we, we know that there will be the condition this part is going to be assembled first we'll have this return flange so this is called as a return flange we're going to be have that particular portion coming out okay and then similar way we're going to be at the bottom same way we're going to be at the bottom something like with this level we can check we have something like this condition Okay, so this condition in that we can find we're going to be have this another part going to be fixed and that is little bit inside of that okay so if we just check so there is a surface level difference we're going to be have for this particular part after that there will be a b surface of this part so that you can see it's going to be a touching condition and then we're going to be have something like fixing or snap kind of thing will be over here Okay, so we're going to be have the snap condition. So snap kind of this we're going to be have get locked over here. Similar way we're going to be have the snap kind of thing. We're going to get locked over here. And this we have part somewhere ending over here. So this is again you can check the part A is going to be assembled first. Part B is going to be assembled next so we already seen what exactly the gap condition we will have available over here okay we already seen what are the gap condition we have available over here So this is how we're going to be have the gap in this part. We'll show this gap. So something like this, you can say as a gap. Okay. But at we are checking the flush. So what it means by the flush? So flush is nothing but the surface level difference we can find. A flush is nothing but the surface level difference we can check. This is nothing but the condition we have from this line, from this line to this line. Okay, whatever the distance we have, okay, whatever the distance we have, that is known as a flush. Okay, so this is known as a flush. The flush is nothing but the class A surface level difference. The class A surface level difference is known as a flush. And if you just check, so we can going to be have something like this interface, like a one big part in that we're going to be have this cap kind of part. We're going to be get assembled. So we'll always try to have the flush condition. Again, in flush, we have three conditions. So there will be under flush, okay, 
there will be over flush and there will be no flush okay under flush over flush no flush conditions okay so what it mean by the under right now the part a is assembled first okay and b is assembled later on so what we can say part b part b is under flush with respect to part a okay so part b is under flush with respect to part a as the assembly we know part a is assembling first okay so a with respect to a it comes from a is assemble first okay, so what we can say the flush so this is under flush value like b is under flush and if you know the flush value suppose this flush value is 1 mm again plus or minus 0.5 okay so in that case we can say part b is under flush by 1 mm plus or minus 0.5 with respect to part a okay so this is how you can read the statement of flush and the same condition will be if this part this part is over flush okay so we can check the over flush condition now so this is something like the case I'm going to have for this part okay something like this we're going to be on this part to get assembled so in this case what we can say we have these two conditions from this level from this level to this level from this level to this level we have the condition now so part b part b is over flush okay so part b is over flush with respect to part a so this a is already assembling okay so this is a part of vehicle assembly now okay so for part b a part is nothing but the vehicle okay on vehicle we are assembling part b so we can say always a part b is under or over flush with respect to part a so part b is always under or over flush with respect to part a and what will be the no flush condition that also we can check what is a no flush condition okay so in that case it is very very easy to go for no flush condition the same surface level we going to be have okay so same surface level we going to be have that is called as a no flush condition we'll have something like this will be the no flush condition and if you just check what we have the surface level difference you can find so there will be no such a surface level difference it will be the same if you just check this to this there is a no flush so that also known as a zero flush or no flush so in in this statement also the same thing we going to be have so part b is having zero flush with respect to part a as the part a is assembling first as the part a is assembling first we can say part b is having no flush with respect to part part a okay so this is we have the flush condition with one bigger part is assembling first to the vehicle 